eating plant-based, hands down, has promoted and created the most health and disease reversal ever seen in, in our modern world. Love for you to address oxalates since combining greens with fruit my pain is off the charts um i actually have made videos about this if you go to my youtube channel or uh instagram or um or facebook i have a video all about oxalates i also address oxalates in my book on goodbye autoimmune disease there's a lot of propaganda out there you have to understand that um eating plant-based hands down has promoted and created the most health and disease reversal ever seen in, in our modern world. Uh, no other diets create the kind of permanent changes in the body and helpful and healthful changes that eating plant-based diet does. Hands down, the research shows it. Uh, Dr. Kim Williams uh, was the former head of the American Car uh, Cardiology Association, right? So famous cardiologist. He said years ago that cardiologists are either plant-based or they haven't read the research. Very strong statement, right? So anyone who's in the know and who's read the research or has worked with patients directly the way I do, we know that that's the case. And yet that is not a popular thing for our society because it's not a very um, lucrative thing if everybody eats plants and gets their health back. Um, the meat and dairy industry, uh, they lose money. The pharmaceutical industry loses money. The hospital industry loses money. So it's not a popular viewpoint because it's not going to make people money. That's just how it is. And, and, uh, and I, I, and I'm not trying to put any of that down. It's just the fact of how it is. So because this has been so popular and so proven and so amazing, a lot of the industries have put money behind creating disinformation or misinformation to lead people astray. So while you'll have books that prove that plant-based diets can be miraculous, I mean, my book, Goodbye Lupus, right? It's been a bestseller since I put it as a pre-order in 2015. At the same time, you'll see books that promote that meat is the key to everything, right? You know, there's a wheat belly and all sorts of like, you know, we have two Alzheimer's books out there. One says that plant-based diets will heal you and one says you need meat, right? <clears throat> Where's this coming from? It's because they need to confuse people enough to get them not to change. So we also see all these articles and memes and things saying, oh, nope, soy is bad for you. You know, actually, you know, tofu and edamame are extremely healthy for you. Uh, misinformation saying that they have estrogen in it. No, they don't. You know what has estrogen in it? Dairy has estrogen in it because it comes from a nursing mother cow, right? Meat has estrogen in it when it comes from, you know, after that cow doesn't produce enough milk anymore, guess what it does? They slaughter it, right? And people eat it for meat. You want estrogen, you eat meat and dairy. But soy as phytoestrogens was actually block your exposure to estrogen and actually decrease your risk of cancer. But misinformation is out there. Oxalates are the same thing. Oxalates are a part of plant foods. Your body can handle them just fine. Less than 1% of the population has an issue with metabolizing oxalates. But those people, it's not dose dependent. So it's not because they started drinking green smoothies that they got kidney stones. They were going to get kidney stones because they can't handle oxalates. So if they had a sprinkling of spinach in a salad, they're going to get kidney stones. Um, the, the number one cause of kidney stones, by the way, is dehydration and excessive meat intake. Those are the cause of kidney stones. I actually learned that in medical school. We learned almost nothing about nutrition, but I learned that one in medical school. So the number one cause of kidney stones is dehydration and, and excessive meat intake. Why aren't we hearing people all over the internet saying, don't eat meat if you don't want to get kidney stones? You don't see that anywhere, do you? But less than 1% of the population has an issue with oxalates and they're saying, don't eat plants, you'll get kidney stones. It's just not true. Um, I've been putting people on high amounts of leafy greens for a decade and I haven't had people just collapse with stones. If anyone was gonna get kidney stones, you would see it. Like if you're in our Smoothie Shred Facebook group, oh my God, these people are drinking one to two blenders of smoothie a day. 
If that was going to cause kidney stones, we would have how many posts? There'd be posts all day long, every day. Oh my God, I got a stone. I got a stone. I got a stone. We all got stones. It's not happening. It's not happening. Right? So unless you have a genetic predisposition or you have an increased risk of, of getting kidney stones because you have gotten a gastric bypass surgery or you, um, or you have kidney disease already. So, I've had people with stage one, stage two kidney failure, no problems at all. But when you get to stage four, stage five, then I put them on different greens, not actually because of oxalates, but because of potassium, but it's the same thing. So for example, spinach is very high in potassium and people with stage four, stage five kidney failure, they can't filter potassium effectively. So I take them off of spinach, which also tends to be the high, spinach is the highest oxalate green that there is. So it manages that at the same time. So. There really is no reason to fear it unless you've got one of those conditions and you would know it, right? But if that's still, if you're still too scared, just don't eat spinach. Just don't eat spinach and, and eat kale and chard and broccoli and all the other greens. And if that helps you go to sleep at night, it's fine. Um, but most people will never, ever have that issue. Now, if you have an issue of greens with fruit, it's probably the fruit. That's causing the issue. We've had people heal very effectively and very quickly with no fruit at all. I actually healed with no fruit at all. Um, I'm not a fruit eater to begin with. I'd much rather eat vegetables. And at the time I was doing it for weight loss. And so I, I didn't eat fruit at all. Uh, and I healed very quickly. And what we found is most people can heal in a pretty rapid period of time if their fruit's 25% of their diet or less. But every once in a while, someone reacts to the fruit and we just take it out and they do it with just the uh, vegetables and it works really great. So if the combination bothers you, take the fruit out. Uh, but hopefully that helps you all with your, your fear of greens. Be afraid of meat and dairy and processed foods and sugars, uh, sodas. Be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of leafy greens. <laughs> That's exactly what your body was designed to eat.